Hello everyone. So I need to clean my purse and I saw somebody recently do a what's in my purse video. So I thought it would be fun to, you know, do what I need to do and perhaps show the world what ungodly things have piled up in here. Also, that is my Siberian Husky named Angel and she is taking a nap on the floor. So you may see her snout. So this bag isn't anything super fancy. It is a Vera Bradley. It's got the little logo right here. This is probably super old. I think I got it maybe last spring. I think it's at least a year old now. And I'm typically not a big florals person, but I like the pattern and I really like the quality of these bags. I have had many of them for many years. Um, and this one's just got some jewel toned and purple's my favorite color. And then it's got a little bunny on it over here. And then also on this side, there's a little squirrel over here. So it's got a magnetic pocket here. It's got a side pocket here by the shoulder strap. It's got a zip up pouch. I never zip this up. I just leave it open, you know, because if people want to rob me, they can, you know, just grab all my shit and go. Again, another side pocket. And then on the front is the zipper pocket. And again, I never zipper anything. So it just stays like that. So I guess let's start with the side pockets. This front side pocket, I have got just some wet wipes in there. I have got some cheapy hand sanitizer in there. I have got, this is like running out hand food um, from Soap and Glory. It's like hand lotion because my hands are usually typically very dry, especially in the winter. And with all the hand washing and hand sanitizing, um, you know, the cool fad <laughs> with this coronavirus issue, um, that's just, that's been amplified. I've always been a germaphobe, which is why I have both wet wipes and, uh, hand sanitizer in my bag. They were in there long before Corona. Uh, bottle of acetaminophen. A pack of gum that's been mangled to death. There's like four sticks left in there. And then some gum strips. Yeah. Maybe I should throw those out. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see how I feel about that. Okay, so that's it for the front pocket. I don't really think I have anything in these side pockets. They just usually get excess stuff in there. I wonder if you can actually put a full bottle of water in there. I've never tried. Alright, so this back pocket. Again, it's magnetic. I've got a little rustic, broken down manicure kit that has like three pieces left. I'm missing the big clippers. I just have the little clippers left. And then I'm also missing something else here. I think there were tweezers, but I have cuticle, trimmer, and a nail file. So that's good enough. And then I've got a little portable brush with a mirror. It's got little jewel tone mums on the side. I've got, my friend made me this, Awake um, Chapstick, homemade. And then I've got a MAC Bullet Lipstick, really pretty. I think I wore this at Christmas time. So it's February, so it's been sitting in there for two months. It's not destroyed, this is in the shade. Yeah, I thought Russian red, it's got a little blue tint to it, love it. All right, what else is in here? Some more gum. This, I, this has never even been used. So I have, you know, two packs of gum. And then I've got some Tic Tacs. I can, they're holiday Tic Tacs. And it's not from this holiday. I can promise you that. Let's see if there's a Best Buy or an expiration. Okay, there's a pill in there. Literally. I have, do you see that? Do you see that green pill in there? That's not a Tic Tac, that's a pill. And it's not any of the meds that I take, at least not currently. I have no idea what that is. Oh my god. Okay, so Tic Tacs apparently don't have an expiration date. And uh, maybe, you, there it is again, you should check your Tic Tacs because you may have some happy pills or something in there. <laughs> I have no idea what it is. 
I will probably just have to toss it. Alright. I've got another chapstick, lipstick. I think this is a tinted lip balm. It's in like a clear acrylic case. It's like a dusty nude. Dusty nude. Uh, dusty rose. This is actually the shade Call Me. And it's from Hola Neon. And I can't do this one-handed. There we go. And then I've got another chapstick. This is just chapstick, chapstick. Hydration stick, eight hour. Okay, so that's it for that pocket. And then there's nothing in either side pocket that I can detect. This is something I got actually from my th physical therapist's uh, secretary. She got me this cutesy little hand sanitizer case with some hand sanitizer in it. It says vanilla sugar, but it smells like rubbing alcohol, you know, as all good hand sanitizers do these days. So in here I've got my matching wallet that matches my purse. It's got a little change pocket that I use, and then in there is where I store all my cards and my cash. And then there's a zipper pocket that I put like all my gift cards and my business cards and random things. But I'm not going to open this up because it's got my license and my school ID in there. A giant lady pad in a zipper bag. Now, uh, of course I'm a lady so I'm entitled to pads. But uh, I'm not a pad wearer. I just happened to wear these giant ass things while I was having my miscarriage the week of Thanksgiving. And the bag had a whole bunch of other lady products in it because I was bleeding heavily. On to the next thing. This is my typical mask. This is the side that all my makeup gets rubbed off on. It's just a black cloth fabric mask. I'm going to set that to the side so I don't lose it. This is a receipt from Panera. That can go in the garbage. So what that was is it had my name and some information on it. It is a referral for an orthodontist because I might be getting braces. We shall see. This is a receipt from Walmart. For hair dye. That can go in the garbage. This is the little gift baggie my dentist gave me when I went and got a cleaning last week. Came with some good dental goodies, a sample, travel size, you know, toothpaste, and a free toothbrush. Purple's my favorite color, and they had it. That bag can go in the garbage. I have a napkin from Subway, which is hilarious because I don't eat at Subway. I do have an accumulation of napkins, however, in my car. This is a parking ticket thing for 11 7 20. <laughs> I have no idea what that's even from. Oh, this is a grocery list. I can say that. I can go in the trash. Aren't they cute? They got my little puppers on it with a bye eye. It's not my dog, but it's cute. It says things to do, but I use it as a grocery list. That can go in the garbage. This is Botanical Buffalo and Erie County Botanical Buffalo Gardens Visitor Guide and Map. I went to the Botanical Gardens with my mom recently. And this is one on Buffalo and Erie County Botanical Gardens Art History Pamphlet. And then that brings me to this big old magazine. <coughs> Buffalo Niagara in the Buff. Your Guide to the Unexpected Buffalo 2020 to 2021. I have a disposable paper mask that can go in the garbage because I don't know when and where I wore it. So check out. Oh, I have a receipt from Sam's Club, which can also go in the garbage. I have my matching cosmetics bag. See, it's got a little squirrely and a little boop bunny. Oh, there's a little fox. You can see the fox in here. Oh, you can actually see the inside print of my purse right now. But anyways, so... I'll show you what's in here. Some of this probably needs to be trashed. So, this is a Beauty Rush lip gloss in the shade Slice of Heaven. It's just, wow, that light is really casting a glow. It's just a nude sparkle. 
a nude lip liner from NYX. I don't even know if this is good. I'm afraid to open it. Mm. <laughs> I'm gonna say it's not good. It's not even like stuck in the tube. Like there's nothing in the tube and there it doesn't look like there's anything in here either. So I guess that's garbage. But this was in the shade. Retractable lip liner in the shade. Waterproof. Nude. In the shade, nude. And then this is a Clinique lipstick in the shade. Why is this not focusing? Okay. It's in the shade Bamboo Pink, but this is just like a darker nude. I think. I haven't used it in like seven years, so I couldn't tell you. Yeah, it's more like a mauve nude. It's got a little bit of a sparkle to it. Dusty mauve rose. So that's what's in the outer pockets. And we threw out that lip liner. And then for the big pocket, I'm just going to dump this out and reload it. Okay, y'all remember Avon when that was a thing? So Avon had like a teen line I guess come out called Mark. They don't exist anymore because I went looking for their products. That's how old this is. But this had removable pans. It had removable, like I've got blush and I've got two eyeshadows in there. But you could have four eyeshadows in there. You could have two blushes in there. You could have blush bronzer, blush highlighter, etc. And then it came with this little dual ended brush mark again with like an eyeshadow and like you probably you're probably supposed to use that for blush but so that's how old this is and it has a little mirror okay so this is apparently what I use to apply brush this is the Mac Fafi collection and this is just a little zipper bag with a little Mac uh, 129 short handle jammed in there and you can see all my brushed blush crusties on that and then this is a Great Lash Mascara, and it doesn't even have a label, and it's probably way dried out. I couldn't tell you the last time I used any of the products in my, my bag. Alright, so let's, let's see how bad this is. Are you ready? I'm not ready. So that's probably dried out, right? <laughs> when your blush just looks like smoky eyeliner. Blush, oh my god. When you're... Mascara looks like smoky eyeliner. Alright, so probably gonna toss that, especially considering I have no idea how old it is. I have a used Q-tip because I am the Q-tip queen. Ask my family. So we've got a Maybelline Unstoppable Eyeliner, and this is also probably dried up. And okay, so it does exist. Let's see how it swatches. Okay, so I literally just watched it and the nub fell off. I didn't even get any pigment on my skin and I'm now probably sitting in eyeliner. Let's see if I can find it. Wait, is that it? That's it? Yeah, there's... I'm not... Okay, so maybe... Yeah, it's dead. <laughs> it's long. Alright, I've got some NYX oil blotting papers because I am an oily person. And apparently the seal on this is way tighter than I had imagined. Um, did I even ever open this? I don't... Hang on a second. Okay, so I don't think I ever opened this. This sticker was pretty stuck on and I was really afraid I was gonna... I almost tore the... I did tear the container a little bit. But they're just oil blotting sheets. They look like little pieces of wax paper, honestly. I don't know if I've ever even used this NYX brand. Usually I had the Clean and Clear. The ones that like transition from pale blue to like clear blue when you use them. But um, seeing as they were never opened and they probably don't ex oh they do expire. 18 months. Yeah, we'll try. So this is my Eco Tools powder brush. Oh no, is it broken? Okay, so it's probably broken, but I can fix it. I think this is the lid, or maybe not. Maybe there, there's like a glue dot there. I thought this was just the bottom. Maybe that maybe that's the lid. I, I took it apart now, I don't know. But it's a retractable brush. The retractable brushy part is not broken. It just... Oh! Snap! Now it's really broken. Okay, so now it's in a million pieces. 
But I loved this thing. Oh, do you see that powder flying out of it? Love this thing. Love Eco Tool brushes to begin with. Uh, give me a second. Let me see if I can repair this. All right, so I'm back. I was not able to repair it. Um, I'm gonna still try. I just pulled out some nail glue and tried to glue it all together, but that wasn't really cooperating. So the next thing we have is a CoverGirl Compact CoverGirl Clean in Buff Beige Oil Control Press Powder. And this is so old, the latch doesn't even latch anymore. Okay, it stays shut. It just, okay, it stays shut. That's a good thing. But obviously it's got a little mirror, and I've obviously hit pan on it, so I'm still going to continue to use it. So let's just, oh, one more thing. My Revlon Colorstay Blemish Concealer in Light Slash Medium. And this is probably ancient as well. Okay, so I just swatched it, and while it is definitely not my color right now, or at least not my wrist color, it uh, still works unless it oxidized, and that's why I changed colors. I don't know. So maybe I'll set that to the side and see if I've got a lighter one I can throw in there. Okay, so this is what the inside of the bag looks like. The inside print. It's like white and purple florals and then this is where you see more of the animals like we've got a little fox here we've got a little uh, pheasant is that what that is and then you can see a little squirrel and more bunnies and all kinds of things oh there's a mirror in there that's yeah so this is the mirror i was talking about and this has been in there since halloween or Samhain of 2020 and it's just a cute little mirror. Um, it's been in there for a while. And then this is a receipt from God knows when to God. Oh my God, it's like it's like disintegrating. Like that's how old this receipt is. This is from this is from Barnes and Noble. So it's really it can't be that old, can it? Is there a date on this? Two twenty two twenty twenty. No wonder it's disintegrating. So, assuming that can go in the garbage. So, here's another grocery list. Again, on my cute Siberian Husky sticky notes. This is another receipt. 50% off Joann's that expired January 30th. Bummer. That can go in the garbage. Um, this will go through later, I guess. It's a pen case. This is a tampon. This is another tampon. Another receipt. I swear to God, normally my receipts go in my wallet, like if I want to save them and like refer back to them, but yeah, this is from Wegmans. I've got a tea candle. This is from Halloween 2021. 2020. We have not had Halloween 2021. I have a Walmart pen because my husband works for Walmart and I collect pens. I have a set of keys. These aren't even my regular keys. These are my random keys. And I've got my little eagle eye keychain going on here. And uh, this pile of keys just all happens to be all the keys from all the houses that I have lived over the years and never given back or what have you. Like, I think I've got keys to my dad's house. I think I've got keys to my grandma's house. I think I've got old keys from before we switched our locks from our house. Maybe to the back sliding door or the side door in our house. I don't, I don't even know. But I'm pretty sure the skull key was from when we lived with my husband's parents. Um, many, many years ago. Like, maybe ten years ago now. But, uh, this is kind of, kind of big. Kind of, a little weighty. Maybe I should figure out whose key is what and uh, get rid of the rest. But that's not that's not for today. This is another. Oh, I thought it was a Walmart pen. Nope. This is a pen for my lawyer. This is a ketchup packet. This is an iced tea packet. 
Um, it's the Arnold Palmer uh, half and half iced tea and lemonade. I used to love and drink, drink, drink these. I would never drink plain water. I would just dump this in a water bottle. And that's what I would drink all day, every day. And one of my New Year's resolutions was to get in the correct amount of water and actually drink pure water. So I barely use these anymore. They're rare treats. We've got some more ketchup packets. <sighs> a piece from my grocery list. We've got a pen from Winsong, which is a radiology place where I got an MRI done at one point. Where the lid is, I don't I don't know. I really don't know. We'll, we'll look for that. I think this is another coupon. Coupon? Coupon from Joanne's. Yes, 50% off. That's what's expired. January 30th. Poop. I've got a bag of Canadian coins. Because I went to the bank with all my change, you know. Like, I rolled it all up and I got my got my money and all my change. But these are all Canadian coins because we live near the border. And uh, they didn't take Canadian coins. You have to go... I don't remember where they told me to go. So, I have to figure that out. But that doesn't need to be in my purse anymore. I have got my octopus ring. Now, see, it got all bent out of shape and that's why I stopped wearing it. Hang on a second. So I used to wear it on my middle finger, but now I've got my uh, my memory ring for the baby that we lost in November on that finger. But um, it's super bent out of shape and it doesn't fit. I'm going to have to get my jewelry pliers and tinker with it and see if I can get it to fix. Okay, so what else do we have in here? So, <laughs> I have a canola bar. A cliff... Blueberry Crisp Granola Bar, and this is Pancake Flat, and I actually pulled one of these out of my purse and ate it the other day because I was hungry and I didn't have time to stop to eat, and this, oh, this one actually isn't expired, so this one expires uh, in March, but the one that I ate the other day expired in 2019, so, uh, yeah, this, this can go back in my purse. So, I'm trying to pull out loose things, everything else, oh jeez, oh jeez. Okay, so, these are my tarot cards, one of many, my travel tarot cards, I should say, they're just a regular Rider weight. they're probably one of the first decks I bought, oh my god, please tell me the cards aren't stained. No, thankfully. Okay, so yeah, this is just... An original wider weight. And this is in a Baba Gaga, I believe, is that? Baba Studio. Baba Studio bag. These bags are really nice. I have them for a bunch of different ducks. They're gorgeous. They're wonderful. I love them. Okay, I've got another receipt. I've got this little baggie I can go through. This is what's left. Can you even see? So. This is some floss from my dentist the other day. Promise you I don't typically keep floss in. This is an empty packet of the Arnold Palmer iced tea lemonade mix. I have another chapstick. This one is pumpkin spice from Burt's Bees. And then, oh my god. So I have a Lego man in here. I actually have a Lego man on my keys. But this little Lego man in his hat, my niece gave to me. So uh, I'm going to have to put him on my dresser. Put him in my room somewhere other than the bottom of my purse. And I think that's it. So I never found the cap to that Winsong pen. It's not in there. There's a little teeny piece of garbage. I don't even know what this is from. And there's chips. There, there's like, can you, let's, let's see if I can turn the bag like this. <laughs> can you, no, you still can't really see. Okay, so I've got french fries and chips. Let's see if I can get a handful of this. Oh, and some change. And a beaded necklace. Hmm. I bet that's from a ritual. No idea. 
Alright, so this bag also has a zipper inside pocket in here. And I have got a little tampon container. And I have got Lysol. Lysol to go. Again, uh, something I kept in my purse before the pandemic. But I haven't used this in so long. I don't know if it works. Let's... Nope, it works. Woo! So I can sanitize my SDS door handles. Wow, that smells strong. Wow, wow. I feel like I should send my dogs outside until the air clears. I've got a little band-aid container from Univera Healthcare. You just stick little band-aids in there and pull them out when you need them. I've got another tampon because you get with crust on it. Like, what the hell? You could never have too many tampons. And yeah, other than crumbs, oh my god, like, what, what even is that? That's like, I don't, I don't even know. They're like the rye chips that you get in Chex Mix, only it's not. I can guarantee you it's not. Alright, and then there's also two little side pockets here. <laughs> Got another granola bar. <laughs> and see, I wasn't lying to you. This one expired November of 20. Okay, so maybe the other one wasn't from 19, but this one expired in November of 2020. So that pancake squisher can go in the garbage. I've got some lens cleaning whips for my glasses. Nothing left in that pocket. And in here, oh, I've got a plant therapy lemon squishy bottle. So like when you're stressed or pissed. I've never used this, but I have two of them. I have one next to my bedside table. And then I have clearly one in my purse, but uh... Give your hand a nice workout, get some anger out, good times. I have another granola bar. Oh my god. Okay, this also is from March, or expires March 21, so this is still good. I've got, oh I know what this is. So these are the little Pandora bags that you get. Um, with necklaces and charms sometimes when you get Pandora jewelry, but what I did with it was <laughs> I rolled up some of my Skull Candy headphones, you know, from back in the day when Skull Candy was a cool thing. Now they've got the freaking earbud things that you just <laughs> stick in your ear and hope it doesn't fall in. And, uh, yeah. I got one more thing left in here. An Andy's mint chocolate that is destroyed, much like my granola bars. Oh, that was a very snappy noise. I don't even know how old this is. Alright, we're almost done. I swear, we're almost done. So, I'm gonna just toss this windsong pen without the cap because I don't want it exploding. Thankfully it didn't. This is just another pen case. I usually keep a notebook in my purse. Honestly, I don't know where that notebook is or why it's not in my purse. And that's kind of alarming because it probably has personal things in it. But this is... Oh, there's another Winsong pen. Jesus. Alright, so there's like 127 different types of pens and stuff in here. So I'll just shove my Walmart and my lawyer pen in there and I'll reconsider putting that back in there. And then I've got this cutest bag in the world. I don't know where I got this. Toki Doki. Toki Doki. You can't you can't even see it. But I don't I just think this is freaking adorable. And I remember it had the cutest little zipper pull. It was green plastic um, to match like the zipper. Like But it fell off a long time ago. So in here I've got lens cleaning solution for my glasses. I've got a Jurgens Ultra Healing Nourishes and Healers. 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 Oh, this is. I don't know how I feel about this. Is this. What is this? Hmm. I'm gonna toss that. I've got another nail file. Wow, this is sticky. What broke or died in here that made everything sticky? This needs to be cleaned, but this is a real- I love these nail files. Um, this is Burt's Bees Cuticle Cream. I don't know if this ever expires. 
because who doesn't keep cuticle cream in their purse? I've also got nail glue. <laughs> um, because I am a uh, glue-on nail wearer. I hate saying press-on nails because I don't like the Impress brand or the brand with like the little jelly pads that are like double-sided. I don't like them. They don't stick as much, they don't last as long, and they're easier to get germs and fungus and water under and that's just no. So I have nail glue for when I pop one off in the middle of nowhere, but this I'm pretty sure is glued to itself. Okay, yeah, so that was glued to itself. Long gone. I've got a lens cleaning wavy thinger from Sterling Optical for a lens spray that I have. I've got a sample of perfume from Torrid. Oh my gosh, does it say what it is? It just says Torrid. Let me sniff it. Okay, so while that's visibly beat up, it's still, you know, still smells pretty darn good. Not my favorite, but it's pretty good and it's cute travel size and it's lasted this long, so why not keep it? I've got a vitamin E moisturizing stick, which is basically a giant broken. Did you see that? It's got a giant chip missing out of it. Broken. Uh, did I even use this? Or did it just become pointy? I don't know, but it's basically chapstick. Mm, I just tried it on my lips, so it's it's still good as long as it stays on its little case. And that perfume actually smells pretty good. I'm I'm pretty pretty pleased with that perfume. I've got a Tide Mini Stick to Go, so I just tested it and it is dry and dead. And I also have a pair of foam earplugs because, you know, it's not enough to be able to listen to your music while you're on the go, but you also have to be able to block out society entirely. And then I have got just a regular, ooh, I thought that was going to go flying, just a regular hair tie. And the last thing in that bag is a little Sally Girl nail sample. Because again, who doesn't carry nail polish and cuticle oil and full manicure kits in, in their purse? Okay, so I just opened this up and took a peek and it's definitely not dried out. And, you know, the bottle isn't damaged at all. And I'm going to keep it. But I think I'm going to transport some of this cuticle oil, chapstick, perfume, nail file nail thing. I'm gonna just put that all in the makeup bag that I have and get rid of this other bag that I have sitting around. Alright, so <laughs> this is a good chunk of what's in my purse. See y'all for a video next time.